Hello everyone, back here with another food review. <clears throat> so I received a package in the mail from my guy Andrew in Canada. And as you can see, I've decorated for the occasion. I've got my Canucks jersey up here, Canadian. I'm wearing my Portland Buckaroos shirt, which is the former uh, WHL team that played in Portland before the Winter Hawks. And now I'm about to have some Canadian snacks. Oh, a Blue Jays sticker. How cute. A bumper sticker. I can't put this on my car, but I'll put it somewhere. Awesome. Jose Louis. Pick a, a snack cake. Gummies, bonbons, gummy. Strawberry flavor. They're shaped like little maple leaves. Is this candy? $1.50. A Canadian $2 bill candy. Chocolate candy. Covered bridge potato chips, sea salt and vinegar. Well, I hope they're better than our sea salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> all right, oh my God, it's all at that. Man, I sent this guy, I sent this guy. A Mr. Good Bar and some Marion Berry Jam because Marion Berry Jam is indigenous to Oregon and Mr. Good Bar is something he requested. But he sends me all this stuff, man, I, man. Big, big shout out to Andrew. Hickory sticks. Salt and vinegar. Julian's the hickory. This looks like it's salt and vinegar. I think it's, it looks like french fries again. Nestle coffee crisp. It's the proud partner of the NHL. Be excited to taste that one. Mr. Big. Yeah, Mr. Big Caramel. Cadbury Caramel. I know we don't have this in our area. It's like a caramel chocolate bar. Whoa! Whee. Arrow. Feel the bubbles melt. Another chocolate bar. Delicious looking. Alright, let's open this up. I want to get all this stuff out. Oh, it's, it's in an egg carton. Oh, these are for the kids. These are Kinder Surprise Eggs, but the Canadian style. Thank you for that, buddy. I'm going to give those over to my kids and they can try them. A Canada lanyard? Oh, fancy. Oh, yeah. This is my uh, second favorite country. Swiss chalet dipping sauce? I'm not sure what flavor this is. Is it gravy? Tomato powder? Smarties. Okay, the difference in Smarties here in America and Smarties here, up there in Canada. I like up there. Um, or chocolate Smarties. So I'm gonna do that first. I wonder what their Smarties taste like. They remind me of M&M's. Take like a sweeter M&M. &M. Yeah, I like these. Can't eat this yet, but I will. Maybe I'll cook with it. I'm interested in this Arrow Bar. Tried part in the NHL. The NHL! Not the WHL. The NHL! Looks like butts. <laughs> Looks like little butts! <laughs> Interesting. Looks like air chocolate. It was very airy chocolate. All right, this looks like it's gonna be thick. This is a Mr. Big Bar. A lot of this stuff's made by Cadbury. Now, Cadbury doesn't have a lot of hold in America, unless it's uh, Easter, which is coming around the corner. Take a look at that cross section there. Looks like some sort of wafer with chocolate and mm, caramel. That's pretty good. It's like if a crunch bar in America had some extra stuff on the inside. That's my favorite thing so far. I'm intrigued by this Joe Lewis thing. Joe's Lewis. It's all in French. It's all French to me. Wee wee wee. All right. Looks like a devil's food cake here. A little bit smashed, but I'll eat it. Oh, yeah. 
That's Devil's Food Cake. Or Red Velvet Cake? I don't know. Pretty sure we have this, but it's sweeter in America. As is most things. Let me balance it out. Let me try this uh, hickory stick. Clearly french fries. Little tiny french fries. Oh. That's very salty and vinegary. Yep, those taste exactly like salt and vinegar. Maybe you need to kick it back to the sweet stuff. Let's try this one. These are the maple leaf gummies. It's, oh, so cute. They look like maple leaves. The flag of Canada. Strawberry gummies. I can get down with that. I'm gonna do the caramel next. Caramel. Now these don't look like butts. Like the uh where is it? This one did. <laughs> I am mature. I'm an adult. It's very soft. Caramel soft. Whisk you away to another land. I'm gonna try this covered bridge potato chip salt and vinegar. Maybe it'll be less salt and vinegary as the other one. You know what? Just like America. All the way down at the end of the bag. Right. A little left. That's better than American salt and vinegar chips. Go on. We've got Kettle Brand in our house. And as you can see, we haven't opened them. And it says July 30th, 2022. So I don't know about that one, Chief. I'm gonna let my kids have this. They're gonna love that, this whole thing. Not worth $2 there. It's worth $1.50 because that's what it says on the back. I'm gonna try this coffee crisp. All right, here we go. A very big. <laughs> it's uh. It tastes just like coffee. Does that have any caffeine in it? I highly doubt it. Pretty good. Tastes a lot like coffee, but it's still pretty good. Man, I would just like to thank Andrew again. He really pulled through. He sent a huge package. I got a Clue Blue Jays sticker. These things don't come around here. I got a candle lanyard. I'm like, now I can pretend I'm from here, from Canada. Oh, messed up there. Ah, figure it out later. And I'll have to eat this later too. This dipping sauce. It looks like there's chicken and is that fried chicken? Or fish and chips. I know there's french fries on there, but I don't know what this is. I can't figure that out. I will figure it out. But it does look tomato. I'll, I'll test it out on something. That was my Canadian snacks trip around the world for my friend Andrew. This is my 100th food review. Um, I started these in 2020 just for fun. I think it was 2020, it might have been 2019. And it just kind of exploded from there and I'm hoping to continue it. But I need to make some changes by making my videos a little bit longer and making a little more content filled. And this is filled content I'm good for the next week thank you for watching like and subscribe for more content thank you for watching number 100 I'll see you on the next one